Huh. I, I, um, again, I don't want to sound cheesy, but I feel as though all teenagers are different. I've yet to meet two teenagers that are the same. <laughs> so, I think they can take comfort in knowing they're all different. They all come with their own strengths and their own insecurities and their own things that they obsessively think about. And um, all of it amazing, actually. I think it's a sad thing for me sometimes because I watch teenagers and so many of them that we work with struggle. And they're struggling because they want to fit in with their peers and they want to make the parents happy and they're figuring out who they are. So there's this whole thing going on. But I have yet, in all my years of working with teenage girls, met one that wasn't amazing, one that didn't have something really unique about them to contribute. So I feel as though those differences are actually the best part. I probably represent 220 of girls who most other teenage girls would think, well, they're the it girls. They don't, they don't have these feelings. They don't feel insecure. They don't feel ugly. They don't have those days. And that's entirely untrue. Every teenage girl I've ever came across has those days, right, where they don't feel as pretty as the girl next to them, and especially in our business. It's mind-blowing to me, actually, and I think that it's gotten harder than when we were kids. I think that everything is just more intense, you know, and the feelings – of inadequacy is it, it, like I said it's across the board it doesn't matter who you are and I think we feel it even as adult women I know that being in this industry as long as I've been in this industry I have days that way right and I'm 42 years old I've had two kids I have nothing to prove but I feel that way because we're inundated everywhere we turn with what are the ideals right so I don't think anybody escapes that